Hello, Matrix, and welcome again. Today, I'm going to be doing the memo for the 2018 FAST paper, the government NSC paper. And we'll be starting now with question one, 1, 1.1. Uh, it says, the cumulative frequency graph drawn below shows the number of food items from a menu over one hour. Okay, so we can see that with time, the items increase. So the first question says, write down the number of food items from the menu during this hour. So we see that after 10 minutes, we've got 12 food items, and after 20 minutes, 30 items. So that means from 20, from 10 to 20, there was 18 items ordered. And so as we go up, after an hour, we see that a total number of items was 140. Now, 1.1.2 says write down the modal class of the data, the modal class. So that means the one that is the most. So we know modal means most. What well, you can remember is, is mo, most. Modal, most. So that's from here to here, 20 to 30. And so we see there the modal class is going to be Twenty. So x is going to be greater than and equal to 20 or less than 30. Okay, they will also accept if you do it the other way around. So you could do the x is greater than 20 or greater or less than and equal to 30. But you can't, so the, this is right and this is right, but you can't do this. So this is wrong. And you also can't do this. So these are wrong. Okay, 1.1.2. 1.1.3 says, how long did it take to order 30 food items? The first 30. So we look, we go to 30. So that was 30 items. And we check along there, and it's 20 minutes. So 1.1.3 is 20 minutes. How many food items were ordered in the last 15 minutes? Okay, so we look at the last 15 minutes. So that would be after 45 minutes. Okay, so we can kind of go up there. And we see that it's about 120. So from the last 15 is going to be this along here, so 1.1.4 is going to be 140 minutes minus the 125, so we're going to get 15 minutes. The 75th percentile is also called Q3 because three over four is 0 0.75. So the 50, 75th percentile is going to be 1.1.5. The position of the 75th percentile is going to be three over four or 0 0.75 times 140, which is going to give us 105. Minutes. Now that tells you the position. So we look at the position at 105. Looks like they've put it in here already. No, they haven't. Uh, uh, 105 will be over here. That purple dot is. And I can 
read that down. And it's about 37 and a half. Sorry, 36 and a half. Um, I think it's more like 37. So we'll just say 37. They do give you some leniency, but obviously you want to be as accurate as you can. So therefore, Q3 equals 37 minutes. Okay, 1.1.6. Uh, they want the, the IQR, the interquartile range, which we know is Q1 minus Q3. Well, we've already got Q3, so let's just get Q1 now. So Q1 is equal to 0 0.25 or a quarter. 1 over 4 times our 140, which is going to give us 35. That's the position. So we can just say position there because don't get confused. The Q1 is not 35. That's the position of Q1. Now we have to look at 35 over here at the cumulative frequency and read it off the graph. Okay, and we see that it's roughly about 22. So we know Q1 is equal to 22 minutes. And so our IQ, our interquartile range is going to be the 37 minutes minus the 22 minutes, which is going to give us 15 minutes. Okay, so that's question one done. Uh, hopefully that helped you. If it did help you and you want to see more uh, memos and past paper questions, please uh, like this video. And if you subscribe, you will get notifications when I post new memos. So it really is worth subscribing. So please do.